everyone today i'm going to show you what i got from sophie and toffee they contacted me back in june um, about sending me a box and then in september at the end of september i received this box and i'm just going to show you what i did with it so while i show you the materials of the box i am going to talk a little bit about what i'm doing in this video today so in the box there's some translucent clay some glow in the dark clay um, thermal whipple which changes due to temperature um, i also got this sealer which is kind of like a glaze that i will be using in this tutorial today um, a uv resin which at the time i had no idea what color it was um, this heart shaker which i've seen so many crafters use and i'm just i've never tried a shaker before so definitely will try this in the future and these princess bezels which fun fact coincidentally i actually already owned my own princess bezels before i got the ones from sophie and toffee so that's pretty cool and i want to emphasize that sophie and toffee offers these rose gold ones which are awesome because rose gold is not a common bezel to get um so over here i'm showing you um, the bag of bezels that I purchased before receiving the Sophie and Toffee uh, bezels and like I said these are all gold and the rose gold ones by Sophie and Toffee are pretty special so here I'm using a silicone mat um, that I'm going to place my uh, bezel on top of and this just makes it easier for me to UV decorate and here I'm just showing you all of the pieces like I said they have a large array of rose gold bezels which is really really cool you should definitely check it out I always wear gloves when I'm uh, using resin or UV resin even if it's just to cover my fingertips and I am using their UV resin and like I said before I had no idea what color it was uh, before I started using the product originally I was going to use the Alice bezel and you can see the nozzle here it's super small and tiny which makes it very easy and more precise for you to add the colors into the small crevices of the bezel but as you can see I actually switched out my Alice bezel because I found out that the UV color I got was pink so what better to use than the Aurora dress bezel um, make it blue make it pink if you guys know what I'm talking about um, these bezels are super awesome I, I actually have over a hundred of them at this point they're all gold I have a couple of rose gold ones that I actually purchased from Japan and so it's really cool that Sophie and Toffee offers them too because now anyone can get them and I definitely recommend you trying out the rose gold um, just because it's just so different you know we're always working with silver and gold and rose gold is pretty nice the only difficulty would be finding findings and chains for them because rose gold can range from very very light to very very dark so it's definitely a hit and miss sometimes um, so that's the only downside about the rose gold bezels so as you can see having a small nozzle for the UV resin is super super helpful I'm using this purple clear UV resin that I got from Japan this was not part of the Sophie and Toffee box and I'm adding some glitter into my clear resin and then adding it into the crevices that I did not fill with pink wanted to I did run over my piece with a lighter put it under my UV lamp and this is what it basically looks like after it's done I did have to shave away parts of where the UV resin kind of over spills over but all in all I love how this turned out um, I did also dome it with more UV resin before I tried the sealer so the sealer that Sophie's included is actually very watered down and for some people that might be a great thing for me, I do like my glaze to be a little thicker, but again, that's a, you know, a person-to-person -person preference. Um, and as you can see, that sealer comes with this kind of paintbrush tip, makes it very easy to apply onto your piece. It did make my piece very shiny, was um, like a water base, um, did take some time to dry. And here I have photos of other bezels that I've made. Um, these are the gold bezels that I got before the Sophie and Toffee box. And then you're going to see some rose gold ones, which did come from the Sophie and Toffee box. So 
definitely check out their shop because they offer a lot of bezels not just princess bezels they have like fairy tale they have plain ones so i do recommend it um as, but it, this is great especially for those of you who don't order overseas um sophie and Tavis is a reputable craft store so i know that you know i feel safe recommending it to you guys now the second half of the video is just me showing you other bezels that I've decorated um, both, like I said, from the Sophie and Toffee box and outside of the Sophie and Toffee box. Um, I have made a couple of these. I've made some pastel ones and I've also made some Halloween inspired ones like the ones here. And I've sold most of them on my Etsy or on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram already, my link will be in the description box below. It's the same as my screen name, which is at Little Surprises YT. My Etsy link is also down below. And if you can't find it, then you can also find it on my Instagram. It's in my Instagram bio. And one last thing before I end the video, um, when you buy these bezels, a lot of crafters have the same bezels. And what makes it unique is your ideas and your creativity. I guarantee you that using your own imagination will make this piece 10 times more awesome than copying someone else's design. So definitely don't be worried if things are similar because these bezels are all the same. Just use your creativity. Thanks for watching guys.